In this video, I'll show you how to add and use NVIDIA game filters. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, first up, let's just go out and find uh, the NVIDIA app. All right. And we're going to make sure that the uh, game filters is enabled. Okay. And here, just go ahead over to settings. Now we have the overlay right here. Make sure that it is enabled and once done under game filters and photo mode make sure that it is enabled as well so what you'll do is just go ahead and close this one now open up a game for example okay while it loads just press alt z on your keyboard i may have to uh, show my full display right here okay so again press alt plus z as you can see here we now have the photo mode and game filters Okay, so click on game filters or alternatively, you can press Alt plus F3, click on it. And then here we have a ton of, and as you can see here, not every game is supported by NVIDIA game filters. So if this is a video current issue that you're currently facing, well, unfortunately, there's no fix for that. Okay, you can just go ahead and adjust the digital vibrance under your uh, NVIDIA control panel. right here and just go to um, adjust desktop color settings and make sure that a digital vibrance is uh, amped up if your monitor is not that good at handling colors okay so that's one now i'm going to go ahead and find a, a game that might work with uh, the game filter as you can see i have here a simple game called among us and uh, this one fortunately accepts game filters okay as you can see here maybe in this profile right here i'm gonna go ahead and select rtx dynamic vibrance okay as you can see here or as you might have noticed maybe not just basically change one of these options if you want to remove one just click on it and hit on delete or remove right here okay click on one delete and as you can see here we have sharpen plus and sharpen as well so you can go ahead and select that click on sharpen to uh, edit the intensity like so and even the texture details there you go that's basically how you do it that is just basically how to add and use nvidia game filters all right i hope this video helps and i'll see you in the next one